In their new ad, the so-called Iowa for Freedom Coalition quotes former Supreme Court Justice Mark McCormick as saying the following. There is no such thing as an activist judge. Only problem? The quote is as deceptive as the Iowa for Freedom campaign itself. Here's what McCormick actually said. There is no such thing as an activist judge in the sense of, uh, of a, that I'm aware of, in the sense of a judge who does not believe that he or she is carrying out uh, his or her responsibility. Uh, and it's, it's really just common knowledge, I think, among members of the bar and the judiciary that the role of the courts is to interpret and to assure that the statutes and the Constitution are, are enforced. And it's not activist <laughs> to interpret the Equal Protection Clause of the federal and state constitutions to a, a situation following precedent. And uh, those folks that have read the decision that is in controversy here will see that it is a lengthy decision which cites numerous cases in Iowa and from the federal courts that our court believed supported its decision. They were not freewheeling. Our court believed that it was applying precedent to the case before it, and that's what courts do. We have a system of precedent, and this is our common law system. It is our constitutional system. It's the system that every state has and that our federal system has. It changes a few things when you drop the fear noises and actually listen. But Iowa for Freedom doesn't want you to listen. They want to show you stock photos of families and kids and guys with guns in hopes that rage will replace reason. They're asking voters to cast a blanket no, striking right at the heart of American civics. I think that the business of the court needs to be better understood by folks particularly who get emotional and get upset over individual decisions. There are tens of thousands of decisions that are made by our judges every day that don't have the visibility of the decision that's caused this upset among uh, a segment of our people. I think these folks don't understand the kinds of things that are taught in middle school civics about the separation of powers and the supremacy clause under our constitutions. And that is that when the Constitution is to be interpreted and applied, it is the role of the courts to do it. And when they do it, the other two branches do not have a right to infringe on the judiciary's prerogative under the Constitution. So that's true at the federal level and it's true at the state level.